How's it going everyone? In today's video, we're going to be going over the cheapest cities to rent in California. Now, I've done quite a bit of research on this subject, and I also live in California, uh, so I already have a good idea of areas that would be cheaper than others. Uh, and a lot of the research that I notice have a lot of the cities that are going to be in this list. Uh, they may be in different orders however for the most part it is spot on some cities did make it others didn't uh, but I'm gonna go with this uh, most recent one I found and I did a little bit of research on it to make sure the data was correct and I liked it uh, another thing that I'm going to add for you guys is I'm gonna show you the livability score if it is accessible I'm going to add it to every city that I present today now, I also want to add, you You may be looking uh, for a cheap place to live in California because of job opportunity. Maybe you're trying to relocate. You might be already in the state and it's not working out for you in San Francisco or LA. Well, I hope this video helps you because it does provide uh, good information as far as you know cheap living within the state. Um, one thing I want to mention though is you could always find cheaper, you know, do your own due diligence if maybe you're already in this area and you know somebody who has a bedroom that you could rent from. I mean, jump on it, you know, it, it, it could be cheaper than living in a one bedroom apartment that in this list I'm going to show. Um, so you may disagree with it, you may agree with it. Uh, however, this is the information I found and what I'm going to present to you guys. Starting off at number 10 on our list, and I know I'm going to butcher it, is San Bernardino. Um, for whatever reason, I have a hard time saying that. This is one of the biggest counties in California. I actually believe it is the biggest, if I'm not mistaken. And it's down south near LA. San Bernardino's cost of living is 9.5% higher than the U.S. Uh, I did mention that I was going to go off of livability, however, I didn't like the site uh, when using it. I thought it was different, so I'm actually going by best places, um, just so you guys are aware. The people of San Bernardino don't have very nice things to say about it, to be honest. And out of the five stars, it, it only gets a one, and the comment section here is pretty brutal. The average one-bedroom apartment in San Bernardino is $1,257. And that is with a one-year increase of 3.67% compared to last year. Coming in at number nine, we have Carmichael, California. The great thing about Carmichael is its location. It's right next to Sacramento. A lot of you guys might be thinking, oh gosh, the capital, gross. Um, however, I like Sacramento. I used to live in the area. I used to work for the post office there. And I really enjoyed it. Uh, you know, obviously I stayed away from the rough areas, uh, so I didn't have to experience anything too bad. I, I just love how close it is to Lake Tahoe. If you guys don't know where Lake Tahoe is, you got to check it out. Anyways, back to Carmichael. Carmichael, if you're trying, once again, if you're trying to buy a home here, good luck. I, I don't know how people are affording it. It costs uh, $500,000 or more to, on average, to get a home. I think it's 517000 However, the renting a room here is surprisingly enough pretty cheap you know one thing you guys got to keep in mind is these areas that you can rent it, it may not be the best area of Carmichael uh, and that goes for everything on this list like I said you're gonna want to do your research it, it may not be for you for me for instance I like to be in a safer area I guess I'm, I'm willing to pay a little bit more having hopefully the peace of mind that not as much happens in my area for a one-bedroom apartment in Carmichael the average price is one thousand two hundred forty three dollars that's actually a one-year decrease of five point zero one percent so good job Carmichael um, however the outlook here is that it's going to keep rising if you look at best places uh, to live you know the people of Carmichael give this place a five-star rating so that is awesome I'm excited to see a five-star rating I wasn't sure if we were going to see that so awesome coming in at number eight we have Rancho Cordova it's actually still in the Sacramento area uh, so pretty much everything I said about Carmichael same thing goes to Rancho Cordova some things I'll add about the Sacramento area Rancho Cordova Carmichael um, they have, you know, pretty mild winters, so that's definitely a pro. Uh, they have a lot to do outdoors. 
Um, I did mention Tahoe. They got, uh, some of the cons for this area, however, is the summer heat. The heat is absolutely brutal here in California. Uh, I know if you're coming from Arizona, you, I can't really talk. However, you guys have a dry heat. It's much different. Uh, it, it's also, it is nicer than humidity. I will say that. Uh, but, you know, the, the rise, the hardest thing about California is the rising cost of living that is constantly happening. And I know other states are feeling it too. Uh, it's just been really rough being here and feeling it. It feels like in every category. You can get a one bedroom apartment in Rancho Cordova for $1,235. And that is a one year decrease of 14.5%. Number seven on our list, we have Hemet, California. So heading into the Riverside County area, San Bernardino. Looking at it, Hemet has a couple things going for it. You know, if you wanted to commute to LA or the Orange County area, that may be something you wanna do uh, with the cheap rental costs. However, it'd be going towards your vehicle traveling. Um, they have a great climate year round for weather. Um, so the people down in Hemet, uh, the people who live there, it looks like they're not having it. It's a two out of five on bestplaces.net. I, I only saw one person who was retired that gave it five stars. It uh, has a high unemployment rate and the cost of living is pretty high as well. However, they do have cheap one bedroom apartments. You can get a one bedroom apartment in Hemet for $1,219 and that is a one year increase of 11.33%. So cost of living is on the rise in Hemet. Coming in at number six, we have Bakersfield, California, heading into the Central Valley. I look at Bakersfield um, as one of those areas where cost of living in California is much lower than the rest of the state. You can still afford to buy a home here and the rent is also affordable as well. I do like the location of Bakersfield because you're right next to the Grapevine, which is the pass that uh, you would drive through to get to LA. The only thing I don't like about Bakersfield right now is the crime that the city is going through. It does have a little bit higher than normal unemployment numbers. You are in Bakersfield, just be aware what you got going on in your vehicle. I do have a video actually about high auto theft areas and uh, you guys should check that out as well after this video. A one bedroom apartment in Bakersfield would cost you $1,170, which is a one year increase of 7.84% compared to last year. Next on our list, coming at number five, we have Stockton, California. Now Stockton, California sits right below Sacramento. Uh, this area is actually considered a hot spot for people who work and travel to the Bay Area. Don't find it surprising when people literally will drive two to three hours, a one-way commute to the Bay. It's a lot more normal than you guys might think. Uh, for those who are in California are aware of this, but if you're moving into the state, yes, that is normal. With Stockton, they do have uh, a little bit higher than the national average for unemployment rate. Uh, they also have a higher cost of living here as well. They also have a high crime rate here. Uh, this is something I also mentioned in another video that I have created. In Stockton, you can get a one bedroom apartment for $1,122. That's actually a one year decrease of 13.32%. So hopefully this stays at that level. Um, however, it most likely will go up in the future. One thing that I did forget to mention was the bestplaces.net rating for Bakersfield and Stockton. They both got a two out of 10. Uh, people are not very pleased with these areas. Coming in at number four, we have Merced, California. Merced, California is a agriculture town. Farming is done here. The one thing that has always surprised me about Merced is that they have a Costco. When you have a Costco, that means you're doing something right. Some of the perks about Merced is they are near national parks. Uh, you can easily get to Yosemite. It's a, it's a back entrance, actually, if you go through Mariposa. Uh, they also have a college right there in town, the University of Merced. Uh, there's a projected job growth there, which is awesome. Another nice thing about Merced is it's not too far from Sacramento. It's about an hour and a half south of Sacramento. That's if Highway 99 is in good condition. Usually they're always doing some kind of crazy road work on it though, so be on the lookout. On bestplaces.net, they gave it a three out of five stars. You can get a one bedroom apartment in Merced for $1,116. That's actually a one year decrease of 14.97%. Coming in at number three on our list, we have Fresno, California. 
Uh, one of the nice things about Fresno is that it's close to two national parks, you know, the bigger one being Yosemite. It unfortunately has a high crime rate here. It has a city connected to it by the name of Clovis. A lot of people do tend to head that way. Clovis does have its issues. However, um, it tends to be a bit nicer than Fresno. There are plenty of lakes and hiking areas around the outdoor activities. Uh, there's quite a bit to do. Uh, they also are home to Fresno State University. So if you are into sports, they have a lot of college sports going on. For a one bedroom apartment in Fresno, it costs about $1,113. And that is a one year decrease of 10.84%. Uh, I, I look at it as it's flatlining right now just a little bit, but I do expect it to go back up in the future. According to bestplaces.net, Fresno gets a one out of five stars. A lot of people do not have the nicest things to say about the area. Coming in at number two, we have Lodi, California. Uh, Lodi sits about 50 miles south of Sacramento. This is another area that also commutes either to Sacramento or the Bay Area for work. I'm not saying Lodi doesn't have jobs. However, you do see that, you know, people do commute. Um, they are facing some issues with crime, cost of living, and housing. Bestplaces.net, however, gave this place a 1 out of 5 rating. And the bestplaces.net are for people who actually live there. To get a one bedroom apartment in Lodi, it is $1,019. That it, with a decrease of 3.71%. And before we get to number one, guys, uh, please make sure to the video if you have enjoyed it. Uh, we're on our way to 500 subscribers, so please consider subscribing. I really do appreciate you guys uh, stopping in, watching my videos, and being a part of the community. Um, take a guess at what you guys think at number one is, and also be sure to check out my other videos. And then if you guys have any videos that you would like me to do, drop them down in the comment section below. All right, guys, I'm number one. And coming in at number one, guys, we have the city of Turlock. Turlock is also in the Central Valley. It is south of Sacramento. Uh, anytime I go by Turlock on the 99, it is somewhere that I always stop with my family. It has a lot of uh, new development. They brought in a lot of restaurants, um, a lot of the big name you know, stores, Walmart, Target, and all that. It's a great area uh, to you know take my family. I feel safe there. Um, I'm not sure... If, as I look at the reports, though, they do have crime. I'm not sure if it's necessarily in that area. It may be throughout the rest of the city. Uh, they, they, I feel like they're going to have a lot of continued growth. Um, they've definitely come a long way uh, in recent years. So for a one-bedroom, the average rent in Turlock is $1,013, and they've had a decrease of 0.67%. All right, guys, I hope you guys learned something today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day. Bye.